This project is accompanied with a write-up on my website, rockinwoodworks.com. I'm going to make a comic book BAM sign. Like the thought bubbles you see in the mags. Let me tell you a story as we make this sign. Back in the 80s, I ran into a 7-Eleven. We used to bike around town a lot back then. Well, I remember sometimes back then in those days, you know, one of the times I went in. I may have gone into the store for candy, but uh, I went into the 7-Eleven and um, I, I saw a comic book rack. I just, I remember that moment. Back then, Sweetwater was a small, pretty small place. Um, it was actually founded by Russian circus midgets in the 1940s. No joke. Um, the circus uh, would travel around the country, and on one of their journeys, they were crossing the Tamiami Trail, and then their car just broke down here off of Highway 41 in Dade County. So they liked the area and decided it was a good place to make their home. So sweet water groves were plots of land way out in the outskirts of um, Miami. And um, it was just like a, a stone's throw away from the Everglades. And still is. This was back in the, the 1940s. Let's forward back to the 80s though. So back to me as a kid and that 7-Eleven and going in for some candy, I saw a comic book rack, and I remember very clearly that the comics were stuffed in, in the rack carelessly, the edges of the mags were pressed against the metal wire rack. I mean, it would make a comic collector cringe, thinking back on it. Um, I remember buying a Flash comic book that day. As far as I can remember, I think that's the first comic book I ever um, purchased. So I took it home and read it a few times over. And back then there was nothing in the way of what we have now. Online gaming, videos on demand, websites with endless topics and so on. So comics were were the thing, you know. I sort of spiraled into a hobby. Maybe more than a hobby. I became a comic book collector. Uh, comic books brought us adventure in a quick, compact way. They had art so you could look at the action as it happened. They also had a bit of reading involved. Not to mention that they exposed kids to different ideas and concepts of the world at large. Comics made me want to read. It was a great gateway for, for learning. And it's funny. I don't know if folks see it that way or not. But yes, comics actually teach kids a lot. I've made a few pop signs like this before, so you can check those out here on my channel. I have a G.I. Joe Cobra sign video, a Transformers Decepticon sign, and many others. Those videos all come with mini stories of their own, so you can always find relevant links as well in the description of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe and click the bell if you'd like to keep up with what I'm doing. I'll catch you guys next time.